Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We are here taking your calls until 11 o'clock, and Ireland Contracting wants to remind you that given all the storm damage that has gone on, Last uh, 24 to 48 hours and more yet to come, they are the people you want to call. They've been around for a long time. They're here to stay and they're here to help. So make sure that you can call them if you need any sort of assistance whatsoever with uh, gutters, roofs, whatever you're doing over there that uh, you may have been affected over the last couple of days. Make sure you call Ireland Contracting or at least certainly keep them in mind. This is the Bordis and Bordis Hotline. We take your calls talking sports at 412-575-2600. Bob Pompiani tonight, Gene Collier with me, at KD Pomp, at Gene Collier, as we talk about the events of the day and the Pirates. Boy, give them credit. They're 27 and 27. They jump ahead of the Cardinals again, at least temporarily, in third place in this division. And the Cubs, Brewers, you know, not exactly running away with anything. They're both four and six in their last ten. Brewers come to Pittsburgh now for the first of four and the Pirates, despite everything, the uncertainty, all the call-ups, all the people from, my, from the minor leagues, and here they are, 27 and 27. Today they win against Cincinnati, salvaged two of four, seven to two. Stephen Brault was outstanding. Gene Collier, outstanding columnist with the Post Gazette, is here. And Gene Brault had a really good outing the last sort of a springboard. Plus, He's owned Cincinnati. The career numbers are mind-boggling, 4-0 with a 103 ERA, and he's had 19 and two-thirds straight scoreless innings against that team. So he has their number. Yeah, Stephen Brault, uh, really two really important um, appearances on this road trip. Uh, one, he, uh, you know, uh, stretched out the uh, bullpen when they really needed it, and today, you know, he pitched not like an opener, but at, as a real starter. You know, he went into the sixth inning. The thing with Stephen Brault is if he's throwing strikes, he can be an effective major league pitcher, but he, he doesn't throw strikes consistently enough. But today he was very good. You saw what he did. He pitched, you know, a bunch of scoreless innings right there at the start. Um, and, you know, he's been, a, he's been very valuable to them, you know, when they really needed him. He really has. And Think about it, he and King and both have been expected, you know, they wouldn't have had to get to this opener thing with, if those two guys had just put up consistent outings to begin with, every time they were trotting out there, they were not getting it done. And so now Brault and King and both coming off better outings, not certainly not, you know, quality in the strictest sense maybe with King because he, he had four scoreless and then he got taken out of the game. Bottom line is they need more people to eat innings, to move deeper into games, to preserve their bullpen. Interesting thing now, they have four against Milwaukee, three against the Braves, four against Milwaukee, I think, three against the Braves. Yeah, right. So they play those two teams exclusively for the next couple of weeks, good or bad. Well, those are good teams. Uh, I think the Brewers are better than their record and better than the Pirates. So that should be an interesting series at home. And then followed by the Braves, the thing that you know, the Pirates really have to improve, I mean, not there are 101 things, but the one thing that's on my mind is the way they play at home. They're not a very good home team. I think they're 9-11 and 11 at home. You can check that for me, Bob, because I know you got nothing to do. <laughs> um, but um, they've been a better road team uh, this year, and, you know, that's really, that's, that's no way to uh, succeed at baseball. You've got to really clean up at home and, you know, try and get half of them on the road. Absolutely. All right. We want to tell you also tonight the Pittsburgh Riverhounds SC. Had a delay at home at Highmark Stadium, but when they played, they came away with a very nice one nothing win against the Indianapolis 11, or Indy 11 as they call them, and that means that was the third round of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. That also means Pittsburgh moves on to the fourth round, and they will get a home game against an MLS team coming up. It could be D.C. United. We'll find out tomorrow morning at 11. Canardo Forbes got the goal. We're going to show you highlights of that one tonight at 11 o'clock, but the Hounds... Moving on up when it comes to the U.S. Open Cup. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the Stanley Cup playoffs and anything you'd like to talk about. This is your place to do it. It's the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, Pittsburgh CW. Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting. Celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter. 